the rim. The counter punch. Oh. Oh. Back like we never left because we never did leave. You got your boy Love on the Hate One and your boy EBTV Sports is in the building. We back at y'all with another radio card. You already know how we get down. We finna get deep and we finna cook. I'm finna make this more interesting because everybody's picking Tank and it's pretty much boring, you know, to the fact that everybody's picking them. So, to play devil's advocate, y'all, all right, me and EBT, we both got Javante Davis winning the fight. But to play some good, juicy devil's advocate. What can Frank Martin do to win this fight? And how can he win this fight? Alright? Let's make it more interesting, EBT. Let's hear it. What's your thoughts? Yeah, so if I'm in, if I'm in Frank Martin's corner, um, that's a good question. Yeah. Yep. Jab. Got a jab. You know, that, that's, that's the beginning of everything. Um, but I'm in Frank Martin's corner. I'm going... Exactly what I saw from Pitbull Cruz, um, and I saw the Pitbull Cruz fight. A lot of people saying Tank didn't want to rematch him. Um, so jab and be aggressive. But you have to be aggressive. So you got to be smart with it because a lot of people have come forward on Tank and went to sleep. Uh, Ryan Garcia, you know, came forward and got dropped. So um, yeah, but be aggressive. You know, you have to throw hard shots like like Roley. Roley was doing it. Roley was doing what you need to do, but Roley got caught being undisciplined. So you need to just uh, stay stay jabbing, um, be aggressive, but also be measured. You know, you, you got to fight inside and outside the pocket. It can't just be one dimensional because if you keep going forward, he's going to time you, and it's going to be a wrap. You know, so um, be aggressive. And close the gap, you know. Um, some guys you don't want to let unload. So I would recommend, you know, uh, jab, 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 get him to the corner, and and unload on him. But don't let take get his arms free to be able to counter you. You know, that, that's that's another way. But uh, that that'll work, and then stay on your bicycle too. There need to be some rounds where he just move around, you know, and uh, make take chase you, but. The thing is, uh, pressure's always worked against Tank. You know, like, people have had success doing that, but it's always been that they've been too undisciplined and they get caught every time. So, um, yeah, that's my game plan if I, if I were uh, Frank Martin. Um, you know, you can also keep it in the center ring. That's another option, but Tank can box. Um, so, there's no really need to go down that route, but I just, I would be as aggressive as possible but gotta give them different looks and you cannot get caught you know you gotta be disciplined at the same time which is hard to do you know so um but hey be aggressive get a variety of shots on and and shoot, study some pit bull crews you never know what might happen man yeah that's a good point man I, I can see because basically okay what you're saying excellent analysis on how Frank Martin could win but I'm going to go ahead and say this. I'm going to go with the opposite of what you just said. But that will be my plan B. All right. Kind of like how Tyson Fury did to Steve Cunningham. He tried to outbox him. Realized he couldn't. So he said, you know what? I'm going to just take it to you now. If he wants some success in this fight. Definitely if he wants to win the fight. He will have to do these things. I say come out in this fight and try to box. Don't come in this fight. Try to slug it out with Tank. Because one thing about Tank. He can be outboxed. The man was getting outboxed by Roley. Now I know some delusional people out there will say. He was letting Roley do that. Like I told you guys before. Nobody is just letting a person beat them up. None of these fighters is trying to get hit. Tank can be all box. Tank just knows he has to have Wilder effect. A prime Deontay Wilder. You know, I don't really care about these rounds because eventually 
how do y'all say what I say? How you say you see? I don't know when it's gonna come, but it's gonna come. And when it do come, bam, baby, good night. That's a classic line from Deontay Wilder. And Javante Davis have that same effect. Now, peep this. We've seen, man, we've seen that boy Tank get outboxed. So I think if Frank Martin, all he got to do is play it safe into the finish line, he could outbox Tank because even, let's just say he outboxes Tank, but he don't get the decision. A lot of people and still fuck with Frank Martin and a lot of people will still say oh he beat Tank he just got robbed just like a lot of people said with well, Isaac Cruz so um with that being said you guys he can beat Tank that way cause Frank Martin can box if you pay attention to his film study and stuff like that he can box alright Tank can box too but I feel like Tank relies more on power that's his problem but, this is a plan B. If, Like you said, EBT, if I'm in this corner, this will be my plan B. Kind of what EBT said. Take a two. Take. Go in there and try to get a knockout. Try to hurt the man. Shit, you said you hurt him before. That's the plan B. Don't say, don't try to, you know, straddle the fence. Don't try to ride the string and say, oh, damn. Don't try to just survive. You know, go out there, put it all on the line. Sometimes that work out, sometimes it don't. And if you even lose by doing that, there's no shame in losing to Javante Davis. That's my thoughts on it, yo. Any more closing thoughts? Yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, I would, I would take to Tank, you know, because Tank is trying to get... If he, Tank, brings the same approach, you need to just do what everybody else has been doing, but just make sure you don't get caught, you know, because everybody else... You know, they got some rounds on Tank. And like I said, I don't know if Tank gave him up. I don't know if Tank lost. But they got some rounds on him, you know. And what I see with Pitbull Cruz, though, is Pitbull Cruz would take it to Tank as well. Um, but Pitbull Cruz, you know, was covered up real well. You know, he has neck tucked in that earmuffs on. He wasn't just coming out, like, on some Devin Haney stuff. Like, how Devin Haney was doing where he's punching, bringing it to the fighter with the whole face is like left uncovered, you know what I'm saying, with a jab. Or he, even Brian, Brian Garcia dropping that hand, you know, coming coming forward, dropping the hand and getting caught. Really the same way. So, um, but however, you know, that game plan I have works, but I also don't want to take the make Frank Martin be a different type of fighter than he is, you know, because I want to bring take, uh, Frank Martin to a whole different style and you don't fight like that, then that might really be a problem, you know. So, I just say you gotta give it a few rounds and adjust your style accordingly. But, um, if you can just rough Tank up, you really got something going for you, man. You know. But Tank, Tank can box too, you know. Uh, you know that, so, you know. Hey, is it that Tank can, can box? He's just trying to be, be uh, you know, going for that knockout. Gonna be pretty. We know, we know what that boy Tank breaking. Yeah, yeah. See, so, but he need to watch his film because that'll help. Yeah, that's yeah. I, I'm basically done with it, man. Um, yeah, we killed this topic. Um, Tank versus Frank Martin. I can't wait to see it. That's about it. 